when you run a multi-level model, you have to check the modeling assumptions, as with all statistical techniques. However, compared to regression, testing the assumptions in a multi-level model is more complicated, because you have to test the assumptions on different levels. For some of those assumptions you need the residuals, that is for normality, for homoscasticity, possibly for spotting outliers. And in a multi-level model, we have residuals or random terms on different levels. We have the level 1 residuals, and we have random effects on level 2, and maybe even on higher levels, if you have more than two levels in your model. In this video I'm going to show you how you can extract those residuals and those random effects from a multi-level model with SPSS. This also applies if you run a linear mixed effects model, or a hierarchical linear model, HLM, or a random effects model, because basically those are just different names for the same set of techniques. In this example we have a model with a random intercept and one random slope. Here we have the dependent variable in our predictors. First to get at the level 1 residuals we go to the save dialog, and there we check predicted values and residuals. Then when we run our analysis those predicted values and residuals are added to our data file. And now we can analyze those values. For instance with descriptors and explore and then to plots we could request a histogram, normality plots and normality tests. And for checking homoscedasticity we could run a scatter plot with the predicted values and the residuals. That was level 1, now to level 2 or higher. For that we go to the random dialog and down here we check the box for display parameter predictions for this set of random effects. Now we get estimated value for the random intercept and for the random slope. And we can use those estimated values to check the assumption for level 2. If we do this, we will get as part of the output a table like this. So the results are not added to your data file, they are part of your output, together with the rest of your results. We have our level 2 unit, in this case a class, we have the two parameters, the random intercept and here our one random slope, and we have the prediction. Those are the three columns we need. First double click to activate, then we get to this pivot view. In order to analyze the random intercept or the random slope, we need those values in columns. So we need one column for the intercept and one column for the slope. We can get that by going here to the pivot menu, checking this box, and now we can change the layout of the pivot table. And we move this field parameter from the row to the column. And the result? Now we have one column for the random intercept and one column for the random slope. Now we select that, copy and paste it in an empty SPSS data file. And then again we can analyze those random effects. For instance by drawing histograms, running normality tests and so on. That's it for extracting residuals and random effects from an SPSS multi-level model. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.